The summer blockbuster season has started early this year, and coming up is my review of the highly successful movie, The Hunger Games. And happy Hunger Games! I just love that. Ladies first. Primrose Everdeen. Ah! I volunteer! I volunteer as tribute! You're stronger than they are. There's 24 of us, Gail. Only one comes out. Still be me. I just can't afford to think like that. Jennifer Lawrence must fight for survival in the Hunger Games. Hi, I am Rob. I'm one of the reviewers on this channel, and I'll be upfront. I've never read the book uh, for this movie, which was kind of an advantage to me because I was able to watch the movie and not be distracted about comparing it to the books. Like, why did they change this, or why did they add this, or what happened to the characters that were in the book that aren't here? You know, that usual thing that happens when. Uh, people um, start comparing the books to the movies when filmmakers, you know, adapt them. And um, the, the books themselves are very, very successful. And what is different about this movie compared to other blockbusters is, for one, it does not rely on the overuse of big explosions or special effects or overdoing it on vulgar jokes. Instead, it is a smart, challenging movie as well as a um, satire on reality TV. Now, Jennifer Lawrence, uh, she plays Katniss Everdeen, who volunteers to be in the Hunger Games, where one boy and one girl from 12 poorer districts take part in the games, and they fight until there's only one person left. Um, they go to the very wealthy city known as the Capitol, where the citizens are self-obsessed with their looks. Now, the movie moves at a very deliberate pace, so we get to know the characters and how they feel about going into this situation, and I like that the movie was not glossy looking. Instead, we get a natural looking photography, as well as some dark humor and a lot of relevance with today's society mixed in. What I liked about The Hunger Games was that even though there was some over-the-top elements, luckily the film still retains some realism, so it didn't rely too much on that element. It also explores how reality TV really is controlled and explores the differences between the working class of the poorer districts as well as the somewhat campy citizens of the capital city. And the cast itself was excellent, a really top-notch cast. And this film demonstrates why Jennifer Lawrence is one of the best and most sought-after sought actresses around. Woody Harrelson is in this movie, and he plays um, Hey Witch, who was... Um, he won the games many years ago, but the situation has turned him into a traumatic alcoholic, and he kind of acts as a mentor to Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, Josh Hutcherson is, um, from Kids Are Alright, plays PETA, who is from the same district as... Katniss, and to top it all off, Stanley Tucci is in this movie. He plays a TV host of The Hunger Games, and he's like a cross between Regis Philman and Ryan Seacrest. Now, but the problem I had with the movie is that that annoying shaky cam that's at the beginning of the movie, it gave me a headache, and since the movie is 142 minutes, I was worried that I was going to be sick throughout the whole movie, but luckily the film doesn't use that shaky cam throughout the whole movie. But, um... Thankfully, but um, I think it, for me it ruined a big fight near the end of the movie without giving anything away. It, it's hard to dur they use it during a big fight, and um, it was hard to make out who was fighting who, and it really took me out of the movie. And I wish that there was a, just a little bit more suspense during the games. Katniss's life is is in, in constant danger, and with all the competitors all around, and I just did not get the feeling of it. Still, I found Hunger Games to be a smart and refreshing movie, and I give it a see it in theaters verdict. So um, feel free to leave any comments, or if you would like to describe to uh, sorry subscribe to RB and D reviews, you're more than welcome to. And if you want to leave any comments about the movie or about this video, I greatly appreciate it. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video.